Here is the Google Nest Mini, second generation. I'm going to show you how to set this up step by step. Now we're going to go ahead and set this up using my uh, iPhone and then connect to the Google Home app to set it up. But you can use an iPhone, an Android phone, an iPad, even an Android tablet. Okay, The setup process is very similar using an Android device. So out of the box, we get the uh, Google Nest Mini here. We have a mute button over here. You have your uh, power plug right there. And you get some pamphlets here. And we get the charging cable here as well. So the first thing we're gonna do is connect the cable. And then we're gonna plug it in. So let's go ahead and connect the cable first. Plug that in, put this into my wall outlet. Okay, so I just plugged it in. We'll let just go ahead and let this uh, boot up. And while we're waiting for this to boot up, we're going to go ahead and grab our phone. And you want to go to the uh, Play Store or the uh, Google Store. And what you want to do is just type in Google Home, okay? The app looks like this, Google Home. I already have mine uh, downloaded and installed, so make sure you download and install it. Just heard that. To get started, download the Google Home app on a phone or tablet. Okay, so that's what we're doing right now. So after you download and install the Google Home app, you want to go ahead and open it. So let me go ahead and open mine right there. And sign up. If you haven't signed up yet, signing up for the Google Home, I mean, it's free. And all you need is a Gmail address, okay? Anyway, after you go ahead and uh, create an account or whatnot, once you're on the home page here, first thing is top left-hand side is a plus sign. Just go ahead and tap on that. And then we're going to tap on set up device right here. Set up device. We're going to click the first one here. It says new devices. We're going to tap on that right there. Now we're going to choose a home or use an exist existing one. Okay, so I got a one home here called home and I got another one over here. Okay, you can have different homes. You can have like one home where you want to set things up at like your home and another one at your office, another one at your parents' house and so on. Okay, so for this example, I want to put it on my regular home up here. But for this example, I'm just going to create a new home. And then what I'm going to do is once I create the new home and it's done setting up and after the video, what I'm going to do is delete it and then just go ahead and put it back, do the whole setup again and put it back in my, my main home, which is here. Okay, anyway, I'll, I'll do a create another home for you guys so you can see all the steps. Choose a nickname for the home that you're creating now. And I'm just going to put fake home just for the example. I'm going to tap on next. It's asking for your home address. Your home address will be used for things like directions and whatnot. So if you want to go to put your at your uh, home information, go ahead and put it there and tap on next. Or you can go ahead and skip and never do it. Or you can go ahead and skip it and put your address in later. Okay. So for, for myself, I'm just going to skip it and I'm going to continue anyway. So I'm going to skip that part. Looking for devices. Okay, so it says Nest Mini found. Would you like to set up Google Home, this number? So obviously that this must be it here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put, click on next. Connecting to Nest Mini. Okay, so I just heard a bring on here. So did you hear the sound? So I did just hear that sound. So I'm gonna tap on yes. Help improve Nest Mini. This is optional. You can say yes, I'm in or no thanks. It doesn't matter. Okay, for me, I'm fine with saying yes, I'm in. Where's the device? Located, I'm going to put mine in my living room. So I'm going to go down here with the living room, tap that right there, and then click on next. Connect to Wi Fi. Okay, it's already connected here. If yours is not already connected, then go ahead and connect to your Wi Fi and put in your password and then click on next. Connecting to Wi Fi. Okay, it says connect it now. And I'll just wait one second here. Set up. Google Assistant, you can go ahead and learn more, tap down here. And once you do that, tap on Next. Set up voice match on devices. You can go ahead and click on Not Now and Never Do It, or you can go ahead and do it now. I, I, I usually go with Not Now because it recognizes my voice and everybody else is no problem. But for this video here, we'll go ahead and do it. So I'll tap on Continue here. Agree to voice match on devices at my fake home, which I'm calling here. So from here, so scroll all the way down to the bottom. And for me, I'm going to go with agree, I agree here. Activating voice match. Saving audio is your choice. Go ahead and read through this, and that's up to you. You can go ahead and start saving the audio, or you can do not now. For me, I don't want to save it, so I can just click on not now. You can always set that up later if you wish to go ahead and proceed with that.
get personal results on devices at this fake home. So go ahead and scroll down here and you can go no thanks or you can go ahead and turn on. And you can tap on learn more and go ahead and read through that. If you want to turn it on, you can turn it on. For me, I'm fine with no thanks. You can always turn it on later if you wish as well. Okay, so it says now uh, your assistant is ready. I'm going to go ahead and tap on next. So my device here comes with a 14 day of ad free YouTube. You can go no thanks or you can redeem. I'm going to go ahead and no thanks for myself. What do you want to set up next? You can always add more later in your home settings. So we can go ahead and go not now and set it up later if you wish, or if you want to set one of these up now, you can. So for instance, uh, here's listen to music and radio. Let me go ahead and just make sure that uh, this one's checked. I don't care about that one. And I'll click on next here. Play your favorite music. You can go not now or next. Let me go with next here. Select a default music service. Now, I, this is already checked, YouTube Music, which is a free service active. So I'm fine with that, but some of you guys may have Spotify on here as well. So you just wanna go ahead and click on that down here and then proceed, okay? With me, I don't have Spotify or any of that. I'm fine with the YouTube Music. I'm gonna tap on Next. You have a Cyrus XM Radio, go ahead and tap on Next. For me, I don't have that. I'm gonna tap on Not Now. Even if I did have it and I clicked on Not Now, I can always go ahead and set that up later as well. Stay in the know, go ahead and read through this. It's optional, you can sign up or no thanks. For me, no thanks. Almost done, so this is what I, um, here's a review of what you have set up. So I got devices, the living room speaker, which is the Google Nest Mini services. I'm using the uh, YouTube music and my Wi-Fi info is down there. Let me go ahead and tap on next. Learn about the controls, go ahead and read through that. You can go ahead and tap on next. Play or pause, tap on next change volume, tap on next, mic switch, mute or not, tap on next, living room speaker is ready, go ahead and tap on continue right Hi, there. Hi, I'm your Google Assistant, I'm here to help. And then from here, you can go ahead and redo this, and then once you scroll all the way to the bottom, this will change the finished setup, tap that right there, and there we go, okay, and really quickly, you know, if you want to play or pause, you can tap the middle, play, pause, you want to increase volume, you, uh, increase is tap here. You can keep tapping and increase. Tap down here to decrease. But you can always say, hey, Google, lower volume down to 5. Or, hey, Google, raise the volume to 7. And then under this home here that I'm calling fake home, you can see all I have is basically this right here, which is my living room speaker. And that's pretty much it. You should be all set up. Hey, hey Google, what time is it? It's 3 p.m. Hey, Google, what's tomorrow's forecast? Tomorrow in Monrovia, it'll be partly cloudy, with a high of 71 and a low of 49. Well, there you go. Questions or comments or issues, uh, just comment below. Good luck, guys.